You must be aware about natural disasters and calamities by now. Can you name some natural calamities? They are wildfires, cyclones, floods, earthquakes, landslides, etc. Such disasters create devastation in our lives. Here is a story based on the life of a teenager in Odisha whose strong willpower helped him and his entire village during a cyclone. Prashant was living in a small village named Kalikura near Ersama. On 27th October 1999, Prashant had gone to Ersama after seven years of his mother's death to meet his friend. However, by evening, an enormous storm hit Ersama and its nearby villages. There was relentless rain and the storm hit at a scary speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Houses, people, trees and animals were all washed away. Screams of help echoed everywhere. They had never seen such mighty winds before. Have you ever experienced any such calamity in your life? What would have happened to Prashant, his friends and families? Let's find out. Prashant's friend had a house strong enough to resist the cyclone and flood. When the waters gushed in neck deep, they sought refuge on the roof. The winds lasted 36 hours. The next morning, the deadly waters covered the entire town and villages. As a blessing in disguise, two coconut trees fell on their roof. It helped them survive the extreme conditions. Two days later, when the waters receded, Prashant started on his 18-kilometer dreadful journey to his village with only a long stick in his hand. He wanted to ensure that his family members were all safe. He, along with two other men, waded through the water with much difficulty. Along the way, he saw dead bodies of men, women, children, animals and birds and wept aloud thinking that his family might not have survived the devastation. Finally, he reached his village. His house had been swept away. He quickly went to the rescue shelter. At the camp, his maternal grandmother saw him first and couldn't believe her eyes, for they had thought that he was dead. Later, the entire clan of uncles and aunts, cousins and siblings greeted him. The next morning, Prashant sensed an air of grief and fear among the 2,500 people in the camp and decided to mend the broken pieces. 86 people had died and all 96 houses had been swept away. For the last four days, they had eaten nothing but some green coconuts. Would Prashant take the initiative to help them? What do you think he might do? Let us find out in the next video.